Hi, I'm Annette from Phil Sewing Machines. Have you ever been sewing along and everything's looking great on top? Maybe you've changed threads or you've just been sewing along and everything's looking great and then all of a sudden you turn it over and you find this on the back and you start to adjust tension and nothing seems to help. I have a tip that maybe will help you with that today. So let's take a closer look and see what's going on. You're stitching along and everything's looking great. Seems fine. Maybe you've just changed your thread and put on a new spool. And when you come to the end and you turn it over, you see the dreaded bird nesting. Ugh, I hate when that happens. I'll show you why this has occurred. It's not necessary for you to take the covers off your machine. I'm only doing this so that you can see underneath what has occurred. The reason the thread is not in the tension disc is I failed to raise my presser foot when I was threading my machine. That is why the thread is laying outside of the tension disc with the disc tightly closed. So now raise the presser foot and show you how that affects those tension discs. When the presser foot lifter is raised, it also opens the tension discs that you can see here now. They're loose and now the thread will go into the tension disc easily. That's the only change that I made and now I'll lower the presser foot and stitch it again. There we go, we got it stitched again. So let's take a look and see what we have. Aha! Success! No adjustment to the tension was made. We just made sure that the thread was in those tension discs. So the actual solution to the problem was to re-thread the machine, making sure that the presser foot lever is in the up position when threading. Now I'd like to show you on a Baby Lock Presto 2. It's more visible. You'll be able to see it better. I have the presser foot down and I place the thread as if I was threading the machine. And as you can see, the thread lays outside of the tension disc. When I raise the presser foot lifter, you can see that the thread easily falls between the discs. Then I lower it and the thread is sandwiched between the two tension discs with proper tension being applied. A nice feature that the Presto 2 has and many of the other baby locks is that it has a shutter. And what the shutter does, it acts like a gate. You're unable to thread the machine unless you raise that presser foot. This helps eliminate the threading issue and the bird nesting. I'd like to recap this by going over the instructions for threading on the Baby Lock Presto 2. No matter what machine you're using, the first or second step will be to raise the presser foot. You do that by raising the presser foot lever or pushing the button on some models. To re-thread the machine, clip the thread near the spool and then raise the presser foot lifter. Remove the thread by pulling it from the needle. You want to do this because what that does, it helps eliminate the thread getting tangled in the check spring. By pulling the thread from the needle, it also prevents lint from being pulled into the machine. Now thread your machine according to the instructions in your book. For the Presto 2, I just follow the numbers that are on the machine, going through each slot and making sure that the, the take up is threaded. When you get to the guide that is just above the needle, it's okay to lower that presser foot now. And what that does, it gives you a little more space to work. Also, it makes the thread tight. I'll show you. I'll raise the presser foot and now the thread is easy to move. I lower it and I have resistance. That means it's in the tension disc properly. That's perfect. Now with the presser foot down, take the thread and put it through the guides for the needle threader and trim it with the cutter on the side. You use the thread trimmer on the side of the machine. That ensures that the thread is cut to the proper length for the threader to work correctly. And one push on that needle threader and bam, that needle's threaded. Now, let's do a test sew to see how it does. We'll raise the presser foot lever, place the fabric under the foot, and lower the presser foot. And press the start button. 
The Presto 2 also comes with a foot control. Today, though, I'm using the button instead. The Presto 2 also has a thread trimmer built in, so a push of the button automatically trims the thread. Now, let's take a look. Ah, now that is perfection. The Presto 2 is available on our website. You can purchase it online or you can come into the store, whatever you prefer. It's a great machine and I'm sure you would love it. I hope I've conveyed the importance of having that presser foot in the up position when you're threading your machine so that those tension discs are open to receive the thread. Sometimes it's those little steps and we all forget. So if you do forget, you'll see that bird nest. You'll know what to do. So I hope you've learned a little bit more about machines, sewing machines today. And until next time, happy sewing, have a great day, and thanks for watching.